<coughs> hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you've all had a super fantastic sparkling day, um, especially Serenity Sunday. So how was your Serenity Sunday? How did you relax today? Um, how did you did you rejuvenate? Did you did you get out and just get away from everything for the day? What did you do to relax? Let us down in the comments below how you excuse me oh spent your day relaxing so i'm exhausted <laughs> i got these bags under my eyes right now i am we had a sleep we slept in um till 6 30 <laughs> and that's not a sleep but hey i'm usually up before five um so we slept until 6 30 we got up we went for our walk as soon as we got back from the walk we um hopped in the car and went over to the dog park and um yeah, I didn't even have breakfast. I know I did my morning glasses of water. We didn't have breakfast. We did our live from the parking lot in the, at the um, at the park where the dog park is. Um, we went into the dog park. Zephy got to run around with nine big dogs today. Nine big dogs. That's the most we've ever seen when we've been there. And um, when we first got there, there was a Border Collie Lab mix. There was a Boxer. And there was um, Maximus, and Maximus was a purebred Rottweiler. Oh my gosh, he was gorgeous. He was seven months old, already weighed 90 pounds, had these massive paws on his feet, and watching him run was hilarious because he's trying. He, you could see him trying to be grateful, but he had these big feet that he was plodding along with, and I thought, he's still got a little bit of growing to do, and he's already 90 pounds, and I said, well, how big do they think he's going to get? I said, around 140, 150, and they turn around and say, oh no, only 120, and I'm like looking at this dog thinking, my dog was 114 pounds. I don't think this is going to be 120. I think they're going to be in for a little rude shock on that one. But he was absolutely gorgeous and loved playing with the other dogs. And then as we were there playing, other dogs came in and we ended up with two Border Collie lab mixes, um, two Huskies, one big woolly Husky, and one very petite Husky, which maxes out around 40 pounds. Um, so that was kind of interesting, that one. There was a German Shepherd there. There was, um, what else was there? Um, Red Irish Setter Mix. Um, what else was there? I see the Boxer. There was some white dog with white brown markings on that I don't even know what the breed was. Um, no clue on that one. But yeah, Zephy was the smallest one there, and she had so much fun just running around Um tearing the place up sometimes should be chasing you should chase other dogs and overtake them other dogs other times dogs chasing her another time she was just zooming around the park just happy to go flying up to the top end and come flying back down again and everyone was commenting how fast she was going and i looked at her and i said i looked at her and i said that's not her fastest and they're like what i said she can actually run faster i said she just doesn't have the space in here to get to top speed i said now if we were in the one next door because they st were still in the middle park i said if they were in that one next door it's, it was a lot it's a lot bigger i said she would get up to top speed she gets up to top speed in that one no problem at all um i said cause she's got the space to do it and uh so then after after the, we were there for probably about 40 minutes and chloe couldn't come because chloe had an appointment with the groomers today so we didn't get to see chloe this morning um but that's okay um, we were supposed to go for a play date last week and my one hour call at 8.30 ended up being three hours. We kind of missed that one. Um, yeah, totally didn't set the timer on that one. Um, yeah, we were just, but it didn't feel like three hours. That was the thing. Um, then after the, after Zephy zoomed around the parks and we went for our Sunday, went for a Sunday drive, picked up breakfast. Um, and then we went and um, it was because it was like 9.40 at the time. Um, I, I said to Zephyr, so let's head over to the mail place so we can pick up the foam for the seat cushions. And so we got, and as we got there and pulled into the parking, into the parking space, kind of in front of the place, um, they were just unlocking the doors. So that's how quickly we, that's how perfectly timed it was. So we got that, and I still had my laundry in the back of the car, and we came, back, and we went just for a drive up the, went up to the 303, and we came down Lake Pleasant Drive, and headed back home because I didn't really feel like going exploring but I just wanted to drive um, so we just stuck to areas that we knew um, got back home relaxed for some read a little bit um, did another little bit of sorting and then I was sitting here I was going I was actually doing some um, I had this 
I have this huge stack. <laughs> I have this huge stack of cards. Now, most of these are what the, what's called Nixies, and they're the ones that come with the yellow label on it. It actually says Nixie on there that return to sender. So I, was, so I went through and updated my records, put them into a separate group so I know that I have to go contact those people. And then there were people who had sent mail to my old address, so I made sure that I sent them. I had already sent them a moving card, and if I hadn't sent them a moving card, I made sure I sent one. So I spent time going through this pile today, and there's a, quite a few cards in there, um, and getting that taken care of. So, because that's been sitting on my pile for a while. Um, it is a pile by itself. <laughs> but I got it all cleaned up, all sorted out. So I got that done. And then I looked up and it was like around two. And I thought, oh, I suppose I should really go get the grocery shop. Um, not the grocery done, the, the laundry done. So I headed off over there, put everything into the washing machines and whatnot. And came back for a few minutes, went back over, switched them over to the dryer. And then when I went back, to the dry and, and in between time I was doing like little bits of work here and there um, just cleaning up my to-do list you know what have I actually done on my to-do list that I hadn't crossed off and um, so checking on things like that so I got quite a bit crossed off my to-do list because I hadn't crossed them off as I was doing don't ask me why I have no clue um, but when I went up back over to get my laundry um, I had my set of new socks and I put them in with my um, I put them in with a set of t-shirts but as I'm putting them in I'm putting them in in pairs so that I know that they all went in in pairs they all went into the dryer there were six pairs that went into the dryer and I got five and a half out and I was like there and I was folding them and I'm like looking and I was shaking everything as I was folding it and I'm like looking on the floor nothing looking around on the floor like they could go flying so I'm looking everywhere go back to the dry I check all the dryers because <laughs> I know that every pair were together when they went into that dryer so i have a feeling that it may be in one of the sweatshirts or something that i didn't check very well so um it'll show up it will show up because there were yeah and um i couldn't believe that i put in six pairs and i only got five and a half out of the dryer <laughs> the brand new socks like jeepers come on give me a break <laughs> so um i'll have to go through everything again um and double check the bags and everything else because I double triple check the dryers when I emptied them and I especially put them in the hopper ones I got to put my hand in under behind where the vent where the um where the linked collector is um to make sure that it doesn't get trapped underneath there because there's a gap there where, where socks hide and um I found socks in there before of mine that I found in there before so I knew that little trick to go hide in there and then to, you can push the drum around a little bit as well to see if anything popped out and even though I knew exactly which dryer I put in, I still checked the other dryers I'd used. And I went back and checked the washing machines I'd used as well. Just in case I was I was um, imagining that I put six pairs in there. But nope. I, I was like, I am so sure that I put six pairs in there. How can one sock go missing in that time? So I had a look around on the floors, checked as much as you can under the machines down the side of the machines and i put everything into the cart and the cart was sitting by where at the folding table there checked all around the fold and when i left there was nothing on the floor nothing on the folding tables nothing in the cart um nothing and i checked the dryers again before i left this woman was there and she says are you okay i says i put six pairs of socks and i said i know i put six pairs of socks in because i counted them i put them into the dryer as a pair and i only got five and a half out i said i'm sure that one of the socks got caught up in one of the shirts somewhere or one of the sweatshirts that were in that dryer somewhere and um, I said, but it'll, it will show up. It will show up. So, <laughs> like, brand new socks. I know I put six pairs in the dryer. So if you ever wonder about missing socks, they do go missing in the dryer. <laughs> and they were all, and there were six different colors of socks. So I know it's the, it's the lime green ones. I've only got one of those. All the other ones matched up perfectly. So I know it is the lime green pair and I'm missing one. So when I actually get to put my laundry away, because I um, lay out all the shirts flat and then I fold the pile of t-shirts in half and then put them into the laundry bag to bring back. And then that's that and my, um, and my, and my underwear stuff. Um, those are the only two things I don't fold in the laundry. Everything else gets folded. So... Um, I'll be checking everything before I put it all the folded stuff before I put it away. But then what I do is I go and set myself up on the bed, get all comfy. I put on, I don't know, some chick flick. Because you can't watch you can't watch action while folding laundry. And I put on so I put on a chick flick and I'll sit there and I'll watch the chick flick. And usually by the time the chick flick's ended, which is about 90 minutes, 
all the folding, all the water, all the laundry has been folded, and I'm half, I'm half reclined on the bed, half asleep. <laughs> so it works for me. That's how I do it. Um, so yeah, so it's been a nice day, and then we got back from, got the laundry all finished, got it back here, and um, got my phone updated, and then we went, we just got back from our evening walk. So it's been a a full day, not a lot of rest going on in there as I would have liked, but you know I'm still happy with today. I feel. A, Feel very accomplished today so that's it from us for today i mean yeah we've had a this is if she did pretty well by herself this time with me running in an next she knows doing the laundry and she was very upset because i didn't leave her treats every time i left <laughs> i'm like no that's when i go get the mail you get the treats when i go to do the laundry on the first time oh i said the t word um you just get the the, the true stick and uh she she is usually still sitting on the floor when i get back from putting the washing on and then when I, um, and then she'll eat it. So of course, when I go to leave, there's nothing for her to chomp on. I'm like, well, that's just the way it is. But, um, but I've been listening to, but I did get through um, book three on the audio book of, and I remembered to write it down. So it's called the Miss, M-I-S-S, Fortune Mystery Series that I'm listening to at the moment. And um, Joan Silver, a friend on Facebook, is the one that put me onto the series. And I listened to the first book. I was cracking up with that book. And it's about the CIA agent who gets, who has very short hair. She's not a girly girl. Um, gets stuck in this little town in Louisiana, not about a couple of hours out of New Orleans. New Orleans. Um, and uh, before they send her down there, because she's going in undercover as um, the director's niece, who is on an extended stay in Europe. Um, and the niece is supposed to be going in and doing a stock take of her great her aunt's house that she inherited and um so for the um, probate stuff she's meant to be inventorying the house and all of that and this niece is actually a former beauty queen and she's a librarian and you've got a cia trained assassin going <laughs> you can imagine the storylines who has really short hair so they send her off to get ready for her role and she comes out with fake acrylic nails on which she's never had in her life blonde extensions that give her really long hair and and she's sort of like i don't know how people cope with this stuff and and all the and the wardrobe to go <laughs> to go with a former beauty queen and everything else and she's just like she goes to the general store and goes shopping in there and gets you know jeans t-shirts yoga pants um, stuff to feel comfortable in. and and um yeah and and she meets these two older ladies um ida bell and gertie and um these two ladies are hilarious they used to be um, soldiers during the vietnam war so they have their own but they figure out from her from and and the first book is like her first few days in um oh, sinful sinful louisiana is the name of the town and so it's the first few days in sinful and uh, they figure out that she's not who she seems to be so they sit her down at the end of the book and go no, who are you so she tells them who she is and uh they have agreed to keep her a secret and everything else so they use her skills and get into all sorts of mischief and so and her name is her first name's fortune so she gets everybody to call her fortune as her nickname so that she doesn't have to answer to this girly name <laughs> that she was given but the, the the antics that they get up to are hilarious they're hilarious and i'm on to book four now so listening to those while you're in the laundry getting your laundry sorted out, putting it into bags and everything else to leave while there's other people there doing their laundry was quite, kind of funny because I kept laughing and they kept looking at me strange. So I, I'm sorry, I'm just listening to an audio book. And they're like, oh, okay. And they'll go back to doing whatever it was they were doing. So anyway, I'm out of here. Have a super fantastic, sparkling rest of your Serenity Sunday. And we will catch you back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Magic Monday. Hey, konara. <laughs>